Hi, this is Josh with Resort TV One, and today I'm here at Disney's Hollywood Studios to give you a construction update for March of 2019. We hope you enjoy the video, and please remember to subscribe if you haven't already done so and hit that notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. Did you see the Arjon siding back there? Rewind if you didn't. Also, be sure to follow us on social media on Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. So, we're going to start the video like we always do outside the park. There's a lot of big updates. The Skyliner construction, the new bus stops are open, all kinds of great stuff. So, let's go ahead back outside the park and take a look at what's new. So, there's the new Skyliner station from this side. And I love the uh, new jazz soundtrack they've got out here. You can hear, do you want to hear, do you want to build a snowman in the background? It's so cool. And of course you can hear the uh, soundtrack, but you can also see the new restroom building there. All themed to the uh, same kind of Art Deco style as the entryway. And these new bus stops opened just in the last week or two. They're really big and spacious, and again, like I said, uh, themed to that same uh, Art Deco styling as the rest of the entryway here. Love that kind of aqua, teal, bluish color there. And you can see Contemporary and Wilderness Lodge right there in front of us. And then on down the line, they're all individually numbered. And this pathway over here on the left actually leads down to uh, the Epcot Resorts, Boardwalk first, Swan and Dolphin, Yacht and Beach Club, and then eventually to Epcot. So if you're wondering how to get to that pathway, it's still here, but it's just uh, modified a little bit. It's past the new restroom building that I showed you just a minute or two ago. Now this is not the only new bus stop. There are actually three of these big long uh, bus pavilions here. So let's go look at the other ones. And we're back at the Skyliner station and there's no testing today. I don't think they do much testing on a weekend and this is a Sunday. But you can see the uh, cables there heading all the way down towards, uh, I believe, Caribbean Beach and the, the new Riviera Resort. You can actually kind of see it way back in the back there. So you can get a better idea of what the bus stops look like from the roadside. See there's actually a parking area there on the right and then the bus, the bus loading area is on the left. And then the turnaround here. There's actually space for tour buses as well there. So it's not just Disney buses, tour buses, uh, shuttle buses, group tours, things like that, school tours can park here as well. And here's the uh, directory. You can see uh, all the resorts are listed as well as on the bottom there, on the bottom left, you can see buses that go to the different parks. Disney Springs is available after 4 p.m. And then just to the right of that, you can actually see again the Skyliner heading down towards Caribbean Beach and Riviera Resort way back there. I love that new jazz soundtrack. Now we're on the other side between the two uh, longer pavilions here. And the walkways are all really wide, so what's really cool is that you can actually uh, see that they can handle large crowds very easily. So Disney's definitely getting ready for the opening of Galaxy's Edge with these bus stops and just really improving the infrastructure and uh, just ease of getting in and out because they know that once Galaxy's Edge opens, this uh, whole place is going to be completely swamped every day, pretty much all the time. And this is the third and final bus gate. And some of the hotels here, you can see the uh, Hilton Orlando Bonnet Creek bus going by there. So some of the other non-Disney resorts have buses that park here as well. That one's not quite finished there with the paint around the Walt Disney World transportation sign, but I'm sure they'll get that soon. And it looks like maybe the tour buses park uh, over in this area across the, across the road there. So I'm, they may be able to drop off over here though. Not completely sure about that, but it would make sense. Here's a good look at the bus stops from this angle. And you can see Tower of Terror in the background just to kind of get an idea of exactly where we are. And one of my favorite things about this, again, is this walkway is just so wide. So it's really built to withstand the crowds, like I said before. I think uh, Disney has done some wise planning here. So uh, hopefully the security renovations are getting close to complete, too. I'll show a little bit of that as we get closer to it. And that will allow guests to move through security a little faster as well. And here's another look at the Skyliner station from the side. Getting a lot of paint work done on it. 
I wish I could have shown you some of the gondolas on it, but unfortunately, uh, not running those on the weekends. So just beyond the old bus information station where they had Coke and everything else to buy, uh, there is where the new security kiosks are going to be, and that's going to be a lot bigger, kind of a horseshoe-shaped um, security area, and hopefully get lots more guests through the queues faster, again, for Galaxy's Edge. And here's Sorcerer's Apprentice Mickey with his broomsticks. Really pretty topiary there. And again, right adjacent to that is the new uh, security checkpoint there. It's going to be, like I said, almost a horseshoe shape. And I don't know when that'll open, but here's the existing one in the entrance here. And we will go ahead and go back into the park. And right here in the entrance area, we have this beautiful uh, logo drawn here for the 30 year anniversary of Hollywood Studios, which will be happening on May 1st of this year. So 30 years ago, May 1st, it opened on uh, May 1st, 1989, and so we'll have May 1st, 2019. So I love that logo, it's really neat. So all throughout the park, they have these uh, 30 years signs to celebrate again 30 years of Hollywood Studios. Can't wait to see what they actually do on the 30th anniversary, that'll be a lot of fun. So we'll probably, one of us will hopefully be there to show you guys that. Got the Star Wars show going on in front of the Chinese theater here. Not really an update, but it's a lot of fun. All right, well, we're going to go into Launch Bay and see if there are any updates in there. I don't think there are any huge updates, but we'll see if there's any uh, changes to dis displays or merchandise or anything like that. As you can hear, the uh, Star Wars show going off behind me. So here we're inside the main building. This is the first gallery that you come to when you uh, come out of the movie. And I don't think there's anything new in here. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. There's the speeder. Anakin Speeder from episode one. Uh-oh, Stormtroopers alert. Stormtroopers are out and about. <laughs> there is no need to be alarmed. Now during DVC Moonlight Magic, they actually had Jawas meeting in here and they do at some points have Jawas meeting in these areas. So it's pretty cool actually. Extra parts for the G2 droids inside of the Star Tours queue. A lot of little Easter eggs in this uh, display. Pretty cool. It's part of C-3PO's arm. Now in here they do have some new artwork. Really cool stuff. This is very dramatic here. Princess Leia. Someone has to save our skins. It's the name of the painting. <laughs> it's pretty cool. Wow. That's actually pretty amazing. I believe that's from... Uh, the Last Jedi, yep, learning the Force. All right, so a little shopping with Josh here real quick. Is that these lounge fly backpacks that Jenna has, a Yoda and R2-D2, and even me, I'm like, okay, that's pretty cool. Not a girl, but if I was, I'd probably have one of those. And here's uh, some of the merchandise, some robes and different uh, t-shirts and things. Pretty much the same, not huge changes here, but they do have a place where you can customize Magic bands and phone cases. All right, we'll go inside Walt Disney Presents to look around. I don't think there's a lot new, but they do have a Dumbo preview in there as well as the Mike and Sully meet and greet that we showed last time. So uh, let's go inside and take a look around. And again, I show this on every update just because it is so cool, but um, you really need to walk through here and really look at these exhibits. Take some time. It's just amazing to see all the memorabilia here, and I'm so glad this is still here. Like, things like this model of uh, Adventureland and the Jungle Cruise at Disneyland. It's just so cool. It's worth a look. And there's Dumbo. Of course, this is the cartoon Dumbo, and the preview is for the live-action Dumbo, but still, there he is. Oh, there you go. If you can dream it, can anybody tell me what attraction that comes from? Post it in the comments. If you can dream it, and what is the rest of it, and also, what attraction does it come from? And the Galaxy's Edge display is pretty much the same as it has been, but still amazing and can't wait to see it in person. It is really taking shape over there. I wish I could 
give you guys a better view. We're going to go into Toy Story Land and see if we can see it, but uh, it's really taking shape. There's the first order at At Walker, and uh, it's going to be in the Rise of the Resistance ride, full size At At, so that'll be pretty cool. And then you've got the uh, renderings there. Look at that little critter there in the uh, whatever kind of liquid that is. <laughs> And this is the Monsters, Inc. experience. And one of these days, I'm going to get here early enough that I can uh, do this without waiting in the super long line. But uh, you can see the doors and stuff in there. And it's just pretty, pretty amazing. So we'll show that as soon as we can. And right in front of the Walt Disney Theater, which usually shows One Man's Dream, the story of Walt Disney. Now it's showing this Dumbo preview. And there you can see more of the live action Dumbo. It's pretty cool. Look at those ears. It's really neat. I love the signs there. Look, it's all uh, wood and painted like it would be at a real circus there. Everything's aged a little bit. It's pretty amazing. And here's some attention to detail. Look at the straw there below the platform. Wow, let's go around and look at the side here. Pretty cool. I'm sure everybody's seen the, the previews, and this is more of an extended preview inside the theater. Of course, we can't show that, but you can look on YouTube on Disney's official channel, and you can see uh, some of the preview material if you haven't seen it. And here we go. They actually are displaying some of the costumes from the movie. Very authentic period clothes for children here. And this is directed, by the way, by Tim Burton, so it'll be really interesting to see what he comes up with. And this is... Uh, some of the children, his children, Millie and Joe, they're supposed to care for Dumbo. And here's Munisburg, home of The Incredibles. And Jenna did a whole vlog about this place, so if you want to check that out, you can see more about Munisburg there. Um, but it's pretty cool, even just you know, little details here, like this uh, visitor center sign. It's pretty amazing. I had not noticed before that you can see Galaxy's Edge from this. Uh, over the fence here right next to the entrance to Toy Story Land and look at the mountains there that looks really awesome I'm gonna zoom a little bit it's gonna get a little pixelated but uh, wow look at that I know that's not the highest quality because we're doing digital zoom here we don't have an optical zoom lens but that is still really cool wow beautiful colors sounds like the drum lines coming up behind me we'll get them as they come out He's an indoor toy. He's been outdoors for a few months now, so maybe he'll get used to it. And of course, the main reason we're in Toy Story Land right now is to get a great view of Galaxy's Edge. Still, even with all the trees, this is the best view of Galaxy's Edge inside Walt Disney World, at least inside a park. I think you can see it some from some of the roads a little bit, but wow. It's really coming along. A lot of the buildings and rock work are getting finished, and I've heard that uh, the Millennium Falcon is completely installed as well, but you can only see that, I believe, from the air. That really looks a lot further along than the last update just a few weeks ago. And if they're going to open it in August, they definitely need to get it finished, so that's pretty cool. We'll just give you different angles of it as we walk up to the fence here. And again, this fence will be the junction point between Toy Story Land and Galaxy's Edge. You can visit two imaginary worlds within just a few footsteps of each other. It's a little different angle. Wow. You can really see the scale of it and how big it's gonna be. Pretty incredible. I'm gonna walk around here by Alien Swirling Saucers and get another, another view here. Wow. Really incredible. Yeah, I don't remember seeing those mountains the last time on the left. You can see the wing of a spaceship on the right-hand side. And here's another view right here, uh, just behind Buzz Lightyear. So, there you go. I love all the little uh, domes and buildings there. It really looks like you're on an alien planet. Pretty amazing.
really reminds me of Tatooine, but more mountainous. And one more angle here as we listen to the drum line. And of course, again, I know that Galaxy's Edge is on its own planet, uh, but I just am kind of comparing it to some previously uh, seen places in the Star Wars universe. So maybe less desert than Tatooine, but kind of reminds me the buildings are similar. And of course, Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway is coming soon here to the Chinese theater, but no major updates on that. Everything's pretty much as it was for the last update. This courtyard is still beautiful and wide open, so that's always good to see. And coming down beautiful Commissary Lane here, right next to, of course, the Commissary Restaurant, we have a um, big construction wall up here in front of some of the uh, meet and greet areas, right behind the Mickey and Minnie Red Carpet Dreams area. We also have Chip and Dale meeting guests over here, so that's a lot of fun. Having a good time over there. And this wall almost covers up some of the meet and greet area, but also where the uh, Star Speeder and some of the photo areas across from Star Tours were, so they must be re, uh, revamping or refurbishing that area as well. So as you can see, the walled off area is pretty big. That's also to the side of the restrooms there across from Star Tours. So. Uh, not exactly sure what they're doing there, but uh, probably just changing things around where some of those uh, photo spots were. Getting ready for Galaxy's Edge. And there have been rumors that they are going to do something with this area here, Muppet Vision and uh, the Pizza Rizzo and some of that stuff to uh, connect Star Tours to Galaxy's Edge, but nothing officially confirmed yet. So let's head down here towards Galaxy's Edge and Grand Avenue. All right, so this isn't an update. It's been like this for a while, but here it is. This is the main entrance to Galaxy's Edge, and uh, so here it come uh, in August. This is going to be a very busy area, and uh, actually I'm wondering about how small this entrance is. It's going to accommodate the amount of guests that they uh, are forecasting that will be here. And I don't know if they're going to use a reservation system for Walt Disney World like they're going to for Disneyland. Uh, I haven't really heard that confirmed. I've kind of heard both ways. So somebody leave a, leave a comment if you know for sure one way or the other whether they're, going to, whether they're going to leave or have the reservation system here, whether they're just going to leave it open for everybody to come in. And I can't wait to actually walk here. Of course, when you're walking in this area, which will be right in front of the um, Smuggler's Run Millennium Falcon attraction, it's going to be wall-to-wall uh, -wall people and people doing selfies and everything else, but it'll still be amazing to see it. So as I mentioned, there are these rumors about Muppet Vision 3D eventually going away, but I really hope not. It is a great movie. It's just so much fun and it's so much a part of Hollywood Studios just because it's been around almost since park opening. So, of course, Miss Piggy's amazing Statue of Liberty here. Another update here is that Pizza Rizzo has been closed now for over a month, and I'm not really sure why, um, because it's one of the only places to get pizza in Hollywood Studios. Uh, other than over there by Tower Terra, I believe you can get it over there as well. But such a big restaurant here that can accommodate so many guests, I would think they would probably reopen it uh, before Galaxy's Edge opens because it's on the same side of the park. But anyway, uh, Pizza Rizzo currently closed, not serving. Well, that's all for now for this construction update at Disney's Hollywood Studios for March of 2019. And of course, it's kind of the end of March of 2019, but a lot of great updates, a lot of them outside. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again, please be sure to subscribe to Resort TV One by clicking that red subscribe button below the video if you haven't already done so. Also, be sure to click the notification bell to be notified every time we go live or have a new video. Also, be sure to follow us on social media. We're Resort TV One on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And be sure to check out our sponsors, MickeyBlog.com and MickeyTravels.com for the best in free Disney vacation planning advice. Also, be sure to check out WindowRepairParts.us and use the coupon code RESORTTV1 for 20% off your purchase at WindowRepairParts.us. So for now, have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye. Now that you've finished watching this video, be sure that you're subscribed so that you can get all of the latest updates. Also, check out some other great videos on our channel. Have a great big beautiful tomorrow. Bye-bye.